For the last few years, I've been riding my motorcycle predominantly solo. A pair of cheap headphones did the trick to manage my music. And in terms of navigation, I had everything on my phone mounted to my handlebars. But now I find myself riding with a bunch of buddies a bit more often. My dad just got himself a KTM Adventure motorcycle. And so it was time for me to step it up to some comms. Enter the 50S headset from Senna. Here it is. We're gonna unbox this bad boy and mount it up to one of my helmets. Let's go. Helmet number one that I need to mount center to is my Bell Eliminator Carbon. Helmet number two is the Bell Moto 9 motocross helmet. Right now, I only have the ability to mount to one helmet. I'm still waiting for the second mounting brackets to be back in sale in Australia. So, I gotta choose. Given I could probably go another couple of weeks without listening to the shit talk from my mates in my helmet, I'm gonna go with the MX helmet. I think my dad might need a little bit of communication sooner rather than later. Helmet. Senna 50S dual pack. So here we have the devices. Underneath this, we have more goodies. Each of these boxes contain all the wiring and speakers you need to set up two helmets with the system. The new charger with wireless module, so it automatically updates the firmware as the device is charging. A bit of microphone. We've got an auxiliary cable. We've got another USB-C charger, we've got the 3M mount, and we've got the main unit that sticks to the side of the helmet, speakers, and the boom arm for the microphone. So you get all of this times two, because we've obviously got the dual pack here. I've never installed one of these before, so let's see how we go. All right, so first thing we need to do, taking out the clamp, and we're gonna Clamp this on that there, to the side of the helmet. All right, so we're gonna flip the helmet over so we can see exactly where we're gonna fit this device in. And for me, it looks like pretty much on this, underneath the strap is where this is gonna fit best. Ugh, alrighty, so I finally finally got this mounted on oh, it's been an absolute nightmare so as you can see what i had to end up doing is pulling back the inner liner uh, in order to actually fit this in and allow those mounting screws to, to fit i didn't really want to really be pulling back this final like plastic resin liner but it seems like it's okay um, and yeah i didn't want to use the adhesive so that was the solution that i had and i managed to kind of force it in there and, and make it work. Like I said, first time using a center or communication device, I didn't know how aggressive I needed to be with my helmet liner in order to get it in. We got it in, so moving on. All right, next thing we are gonna be doing is installing the speakers. So we're using the Velcro adhesive mounts. I'm gonna mount inside here. So the Bell Moto 9, as with my other Bell helmets, has little indents where you can insert your speakers. So that's where we'll be placing them. We're gonna take these wires now, we're gonna insert them onto the Velcro pads that we've inserted here. And I imagine we're gonna take out this back pad and we'll wrap the wires through the back so they're not in the way. Alrighty, and there we are. Seem to be all mounted up. Now we're gonna clip this on into place. And there's a click. And we are firmly secure and ready to go. All right, so I took a break because I was getting very frustrated. I need threw this little device across the room. But finally got it installed. Downloaded the Senna 50S utility app. And now we're gonna try and connect this to my phone. All right, so we're gonna press and hold this back button here for five seconds. And hopefully that'll get us into pairing mode. Now with the flashing red and blue lights, click next on the app. And now we're searching for the device. All 
I really hope this is more painless than the install of the device. You have to actually leave the app, go into the settings of your phone to Bluetooth and then manually connect to the device. It didn't do it within the app. That's annoying. Okay, so back to the app, which crashed. Okay, that's it. We're connected. Okay, so from the app, I can control all the different settings. I can change what kind of intercom mode I'm in, whether it's in the mesh or the Bluetooth intercom. This is my first time using any sort of Bluetooth comm, so I have nothing to compare it to. The reason I'm using Senna is because everyone that I ride with, or I'm gonna be riding with, uses Senna. Senna is the most commonly used in Australia, so just in terms of connectivity with other riders, this is really my only option. Uh, finally, Final look at the device sitting on my helmet. Like I said, guys, this is the first time I've used the Bluetooth intercom system, so I'm excited to use it out in the field. Let me know if you have any questions about it and what you want to know about how it performs out on the road. I'm going to be doing some tests, both on the Harley and, of course, on the adventure bike to see how it goes in uh, solo mode, listening to music, making phone calls, and, of course, for the intercom mode as well. So let me know what questions you have and I'll be sure to answer them. Like I said, first time using it and I'm working all this stuff out as I go. Alrighty, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time on Two Wheels. Alrighty, peace.